Hi everyone, it's Tony here from Ready Steady Excel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a shared calendar like this in Microsoft Teams. This calendar will sit in one of the channels of your Teams. And the great thing about this is that when you send out a meeting invite, it will automatically invite the people in that team. So you don't have to add them individually. You can also add external people too. Click like if you find this video useful. So here I am in a team that I created earlier called the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. And I've got a channel here called Planning, and this is where I wanna add the calendar. To add the calendar, I click here on the plus sign. And this will allow me to add the app. This is the app I want here, Channel Calendar. If you can't see it on this list here, then you can search for it. So let's click Channel Calendar. And here you can give the calendar a name. So I'm gonna call mine Shared Calendar, so it's clear that it's a shared calendar and not just for the individual member. And I'm gonna keep this box ticked so everyone's aware that I've added this calendar to the channel. So if I click Add, there's my shared calendar. And just to show you, if I go to Posts, so you can see it there in the conversation feed. Going back to the shared calendar, to add a new appointment, I click here, Add New Event. And this is not to be confused with live events. You've got all the fields that you expect for a meeting. The advantage of adding a meeting in this way is that all the members of the team will get an invite, so I don't need to add them individually. If I want to add external people, then I can enter their details here. I'm gonna press send now so you can see where the meeting goes. And it appears here in the channel calendar, as you would expect. If I click here on my calendar, I can see it here too. So it also appears in my personal calendar. And if I go to my Outlook calendar, and it also appears in my Outlook calendar. Click subscribe if you found this video useful. And if you've got some time, then please check out these videos here and I will see you in the next video.